alert. And that breaking news is out of Chesterfield, where as you can see, fire crews are battling a structure fire at a UPS facility on Coach Road. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, June 4th. I'm Rob Cardwell. And I'm Reba Hollingsworth. Before we get to traffic and weather with Kristen and Tom, let's send it over to Brendan King live. Brendan, what are you seeing right now? Yeah, quite an active investigation as we speak, Robin Reben. Good morning to you. We are nearing hour two of this investigation, and we are learning some new information from Chesterfield Fire. They say their fire marshal is now here at the UPS Distribution Center off Coach Road, working to figure out how this fire started in the first place. A lot is going on, so look behind me here. As the sun rises, we're starting to see some of the damage at one of the warehouses. As you see here, UPS is sending the convoy of large tractor trailers off their property. They weren't letting any new trucks inside the entrance here where we're standing. So crews arrived around 2.45 this morning. It took them about an hour to get the fire under control. They say it somehow started in one of their trucks that were detached from the actual tractor trailer cabin. That's where all their mail and packages were stored. They say it somehow started on fire. It extended to another truck and then another truck and then the warehouse. So we still look to the battalion chief shortly after the first 911 call. He tells us this was a three alarm fire. Uh, there were workers inside the building. They all evacuated, but nobody was inside the trucks themselves. Okay. We were able to bring the fire and the trucks under control, utilizing hand lines and a, and a ladder truck. Um, so, but nothing uh, out of the ordinary at this point. A three alarm fire means nine engines, two trucks and three transport units were here on site. I can tell you about 100 employees were at one point standing outside, either waiting for that all clear to go back in or to go home. A Chesterfield fire spokesperson tells me there were packages and mail inside those trailers that caught on fire as crews continue to put out the hotspots throughout the morning. And again, it took crews about an hour to get the fire under control. The good news is no one was hurt and no one was treated for any injuries. That's really good news, especially how big this fire was exactly how the fire started we're gonna have to wait till the fire marshal answers that question hopefully we'll get that answer later today but we'll